Randy and Judy Brown say a year before the high school shootings, they were so concerned about Eric Harris's violent writings on the internet that they went to police. The Browns had had trouble with Eric Harris. They say Harris had threatened their son, Brooks, and vandalized his car. When Brooks found threats of mass murder on Harris's webpage, he brought it to his parents. Um, the entire website was dedicated to how he was going to kill the entire state of Colorado. When the Browns met with investigators from the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department, they say they turned over several pages from Eric Harris's website. Pages that read, I will rig up explosives all over a town and detonate each one of them at will after I mow down a whole area of you snotty rich and it continued with a string of expletives. The page continued, all I want to do is kill and injure as many of you as I can. One of the pages that had a recipe for a pipe bomb concluded, now our only problem is to find the place that will be ground zero. Complaints. Today, a sheriff's spokesman would not discuss any of this. All of that is part of the ongoing investigation and they do not want to make any comments about that right now. But some of the information given to the sheriff made its way to Neil Gardner, a deputy who was assigned to the high school. And had you been told about that? I mean, did you have any kind of warning about him? Uh, a little bit, yeah, that he might be capable of making some bombs. In the past year, Brooks Brown and Eric Harris settled their differences. Before the shooting, Harris warned Brooks to go home. Brooks, I like you. Get out of here. Go home now. Brooks Brown was spared, but now his parents are wondering if their complaints to the sheriff a year ago had been handled differently, could many more have been saved? John Miller, ABC News, Littleton, Colorado.